But ice doesn't just exist on our planet. We've known for decades that some of the moons of Jupiter and Saturn, at the further reaches of our solar system, are covered in ice. Recently, we've been able to get close enough to see it in more detail. And that's revealed something startling. It might be protecting oceans of liquid water out in space. Professor Michel Dougherty is a space physicist who explores these outer planets. It was Jupiter's moon Europa that first attracted her attention, thanks to a surprising photograph taken by the Galileo spacecraft. This image shows us what looks like an ice shelf, which is floating on a liquid. We could almost say it was the Antarctic or Greenland. What you can clearly see are these icebergs, which look as if they're moving around on the surface. And the only way for that to happen is for there to be liquid underneath that's helping shift them around on the icy surface. By studying data from Galileo, scientists reckon that Europa's ice is covering an ocean of liquid water. If true, this would be an amazing discovery. But frustratingly, there's no way yet of penetrating the surface to confirm it. However, in 1997, an unmanned probe called Cassini was sent into space. Its mission, to explore Saturn 700 million miles from Earth. When it flew by a tiny ice-covered moon called Enceladus, it gave a reading that Michelle and her team simply couldn't explain. So, she asked the mission planners if Cassini could make a closer flyby. And this revealed a spectacle that had never been seen before anywhere in the solar system. This is the image that we took when we went really close to Enceladus, and you can clearly see this large plume of water vapour coming off from the South Pole. It's a gorgeous image. As Cassini has shown us that water definitely exists under Enceladus's ice, that makes it a fantastic place to search for evidence of extraterrestrial life. The reason that this discovery is so amazing is that it's telling us that there's water underneath the surface of Enceladus. And in the plume itself, there is water vapor, there are ice crystals, and there are organic compounds, nitrogen, carbon, hydrogen, all the things that you would need for the basic building blocks of life. Michelle and her colleagues are currently working on building much smaller probes that will be able to analyze the plumes jetting out from Enceladus. They'll look for more evidence of life. Ice in space may bring us one step closer to finding out if other life forms have evolved in our solar system. <laughs> <laughs>